Welcome to another of Creative Block's Two Minute Tool Skills. Today we're going to be looking at Photoshop and specifically the Magnetic Lasso Tool. It's a clever selection tool that works by snapping onto edges as you draw a selection. For example, I want to select the car here so I can click on the edge anywhere around the outline and then simply trace around the edges with my mouse and the tool will snap onto those edge details and this works fine for simple objects but for something complicated like the car here the tool will slip up and for some people this puts them off using the tool but with a few keyboard shortcuts we can get a much better result so I'm just going to hit escape to undo that now the key to success with the magnetic lasso tool is understanding these options up here in the options bar at the top of the screen these three settings here are what we're interested in width contrast and frequency. Now width controls the distance from the edge in which the tool will seek out edge detail. Contrast determines what the tool sees as an edge so a higher contrast value will mean that the tool will only look for really hard edges. Frequency controls the distance between the points that, that the tool sets down. Now you're going to want to control these three different values while you're making your selection which is difficult with a mouse because as soon as you drag up towards them the selection will follow the line of your mouse so you need to use a couple of keyboard shortcuts instead. It's also much easier to control the tool when you're zoomed in close so I'm going to hold command or control and the space bar and then drag to the right over this point to zoom in closer. So once I've started my selection I can use the square bracket keys on my keyboard to set a different width. I can use the greater than and less than keys to set a higher or lower contrast and I can use the apostrophe and semicolon keys to set a higher or lower frequency. So for example if I want a higher frequency around this point here I can just up my frequency to 100 and that will set lots of points there very short distance apart and then let's say if I get to this point here I want a lower frequency I can bring the frequency down using the semicolon key and then continue dragging my point. And You can see now the tool thinks I want to snap onto this edge here so I can hit backspace to delete a couple of points and then I can lower my width by using the bracket key so I'll bring that right down to one pixel and then see how the tool will only seek out edges that are close to that edge that we're after along there. It just means I need to be a bit more precise with my mouse. And of course once you've finished making your selection you can make any changes you want so for example here I'm just going to duplicate my selection to a new layer with command or control and J highlight the background layer and then I'm going to add some motion blur to create the illusion of speed like that. So there we go that's how you can use the magnetic lasso tool to get really accurate selections.